So you just bought yourself a brand new shiny Xbox Series S or X in the Black Friday sales or you've picked one up for Christmas and you're feeling nostalgic. Back to Christmas in the 90s or the early 2000s and you want to play some classic games. What if I told you all of that was possible on the Xbox Series S and X? Now, there are two ways you can do this. One is going to cost you $20 or whatever that is in your region. That is called developer mode. And the other is kind of free on retail mode, but it does come with a few issues. Today, I'm going to show you how to activate developer mode on your console so you can install emulators onto your Xbox Series S or X yourself and play PlayStation 2 games Wii games, GameCube games, N64 games, just all the games from your past. Now, why would you pay $20 when there are options that are free? If you notice, I said kind of free. And that's because in order to get these apps on your Xbox, somebody has to put them on the Microsoft Store, which is breaking terms of service. This used to be on a website you could just type into your Xbox browser and click and install it like you would any other app on Xbox. But Microsoft started cracking down on this and the links were moved to a Discord server that was very private. And now there is a Patreon wall that has been added as well. So you still get the apps for free, but only in a short window of time before they get taken down again. In the three weeks that I have been in the Discord server, they have only been available for non-paid members once, and that was only for a few days. That's not to say I have anything against the team doing this, just that I'd rather pay the $20 developer mode fee, install all the apps myself, than rely on somebody else to break the terms of service, just so I don't have to restart my Xbox to access any of the emulation. So let's just get into the video and the tutorial. I'm gonna start on the Xbox itself, and the first thing we're gonna do is when we're on the Xbox main menu or whatever they call it these days, the dashboard, press Y to search and type in dev mode on the keyboard. So dev space mode. And as you can see there, we've got two things here. We've got dev mode, dev mode activation, which is for the Xbox One, and we've got the Xbox dev mode with the lovely picture of the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. That is the one that you want. Click on that and click install all. And then we wait for that to install. Okay, so once that's installed, click it to open it. It's gonna open the dev kit activation. Click next. So keep clicking next until you get to this screen here, which is the activate console screen. It'll give you a little number here and a code. And then this is where we move over to the PC. Once you're at, at your PC, go to your browser. I use Microsoft Edge because obviously it's a Microsoft product. It's probably going to work best on the Microsoft browser. You can use whatever one that you want. Type in the URL. Sign in with your Xbox account. And it'll bring you to this Microsoft Partner Center. All you're going to do is scroll down and find the developer programs here. And when it says Windows and Xbox, click Get Started. Then it'll bring you to this page and you're going to want to click sign up now. Like I said, this is going to cost you $20 to do. So first select your country and region. I'm going to select the United Kingdom because that's where I am. And then as you can see, account type, we want individual because we're there. And then you're going to want to fill in all of this information here and click next when you do. Okay, so one thing to notice, one thing I noticed there is that it didn't actually cost me £12, it cost £14.40 because of VAT after that. So you are going to have to factor in sales tax and things like that when you're making this account. So once that's been done, go back to the Xbox. The code will have expired if you're taking too long. So you're going to want to get yourself a new code. Go back to the aka.ms slash activate Xbox. The link will be in the description down below for that. Or you can just type it in yourself. And you'll come up to this page, which will say manage Xbox devices. And obviously we're going to need to add one here. So we go to the actions bit here, click at, click the plus sign and click enter activation code and type in the code there. So we'll put it in PLXVSW, click submit. And that's then going to add your Xbox, go back to the Xbox and it will start activating there. After that's done, it's going to bring you to this page to switch to developer mode. It's going to activate it. So I'm going to click the switch and restart. And then it's going to restart the Xbox. It's going to take a couple of minutes to do that. If you want to know how much it's going to cost in your area, I'll leave a link in the description down below to a website that will show you how much dev mode costs for your...
So once you've got developer mode up and running, there are a couple of extra settings that you can do. It's just to make things run smoothly. The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously connect to the internet. And you do that by going to the settings tab over here, clicking launch settings, and then set it up like you would with your Xbox. As well, I have a wired connection, so it's already set up, but you can set up the wireless network just like you would. And all of these options are all the ones that are available on the retail version of your Xbox. Going out of that, there is another thing that you can do, and that is if you press the menu button, it'll bring up this little menu at the side here, and you can add more storage to your developer mode. And you're going to need this if you're planning on putting games onto your Xbox Series S and running them from that, or your Xbox Series X running from the internal storage. I can have it set to 40 gigabytes, but I'm going to need a little bit more because I'm going to be doing some texture pack videos today. Now, any space that you take from here, you're taking away from the retail side of your Xbox. So I'm going to give myself 100 gigabytes, which will only leave 74 gigabytes for games because I have Modern Warfare 2 installed and that just takes up a whole bunch of stuff. But hopefully that should be enough for now. I'm going to save that. So once you do that, you're going to have to restart it. And then we will have more space for our apps. And we can put our games and stuff on there as well. So there you have it. If we go back into Manage Dev Storage, we can change it there. One thing to note, if you do change the storage again, once you've installed your apps and stuff on there already, it is going to delete all your apps and stuff on dev mode because it's just going to reformat it to a different storage. So that is to be expected with things like that. So that's why I run most of my games or all of my games off of a USB hard drive. And if you check out my channel, I'll show you all the tutorials. I'll leave links in the description down below of all the tutorials of how to run all the different emulators and all the different settings on your Xbox Series S or X. These really are fantastic emulation machines. And with the current state of gaming right now, the only thing I really want to play are PlayStation 2 games, GameCube games, N64 games, and especially with it being Christmas coming up, I like to play those games so I can get all those memories of opening those games for the first time at Christmas. And if you've liked this video and this video has been helpful, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me grow. And I don't know what else to say here. Stay tuned. What do these big YouTubers say that makes them that gets them bunches of views. Most people probably aren't even watching at this stage. According to my analytics, everybody switches off after the first two minutes or whatever, or they get the information they want and then they switch off, which is, uh, it's okay if that's what you want to do. Uh, don't do anything I want to do. Have a fantastic day. Uh, I love you.